What's up guys, it's Bucky, welcome to your 42nd Python tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys uh, more of reading and writing lines in the text file. So you guys already know how uh, to read a certain way from a text file using read and then something like three or something like that to read three bytes. And I also taught you guys how to read the rest of your file by using read um, with uh, no parameters taken. But let me show you guys how to read line by line and this is a little different. So let's go ahead and make a file object so we can do some stuff to our file. Uh, and we want to open it, of course. So uh, let's see if I can remember my directory. It's in test and also a.txt, I believe it is. And we also want to read. And we can't forget our parentheses right here. So that goes ahead and makes our object file. And now, in order to read a line, what we need to do is print this is optional fob dot read line so instead of just read we want to read one line and once you hit enter what this does is read a line up to the first break and this um has about four lines in it so uh... that's the first line of my text file hey now brown cow with brown misspelled but again just like read uh... with no parameters there's a different way to take read lines and, or excuse me there's a different way to read the lines of the rest of your file and that's print your file object and read lines in unlike this one where it's a read line that reads a single line this one reads all the other line by line and aside from this let me show you guys aside from just reading line from line and printing it out like we've done before what this um, function does is it take lines by line each line and it inserts it into a list so instead of just returning the lines line 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 at a time it takes all the lines and returns them line by line but it does it as a list so um, that's a different way where you can use read line to return a single line or if you use read lines plural it returns all the lines but it does it as a list so this is the first line, this is the second, third, and fourth. So aside from that, let me show you guys how to write lines. So let's go ahead and close this because we're done with it for now. And let's open up a new one where we can write. So file object equals open. And let's go ahead and see if I can remember my directory again. Test a dot text. And instead of reading this time, we're going to want to write this time. So make sure to put a W right there. Now we have a file object that can write. Now let's go ahead and write new lines into our um, uh, file. So go ahead and with your file object, go ahead and put the write command. Now it only takes one parameter, and that's the write lines. Now let's go ahead and put this is a new line, and then put backslash n and whenever you put this I don't know if I told you guys before but this inserts a new line so whenever you write backslash n it knows to go to the next line so this is a new line this is line 2 backslash n this is third line backslash n this is the last and final line and so once you go ahead and press enter you just wrote four lines of text into your file so let's go ahead and close that and I'll show you guys exactly what it did and I just hit that that doesn't mean anything I just actually hit that with my uh, finger by accident so now if we go ahead and look at our file we should have four new lines that we just wrote so this is line this is line two this is third line and this is the last and final line so let's go ahead and close that and let me show you guys how to do one more thing now I showed you guys how to, how to read one line at a time I showed you guys how to read all the lines although the rest of your lines in your file return as a list and I showed you guys how to overwrite your old file to make a completely new file with new lines but another thing I want to show you guys how to do is how to modify only certain lines in that file if you can remember that old file said this is new line this is line two this is third line this is last and final line for one two three and four 
fourth lines. But say you want to only edit one of those lines in that file. Let's go ahead and make a file object. Actually, I'm going to show you guys how to do this in the next tutorial. This one's getting kind of long. So uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to modify only certain lines using, um, well, I'll show you in the next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.